Hey everyone, I'm Lisha and I'm going to show you how to install a zipper. It can be really intimidating, but it's not. All you need is the correct zipper foot, um, which I can show you. It's a presser foot for your machine and some patience with yourself. Give yourself some grace because it can be intimidating, but it's all right. You'll figure it out. I'm just going to make a cute little coin purse and I've got two pieces of fabric here, straight edges on each side. That'll be very important. And I've got a standard, this is a six inch polyester zipper. Polyester is good because it's pretty much indestructible. And the pieces on the inside, the little, um, I don't know what that what that's called. The little zipper teeth, the zipper teeth, that's what it little is. Little zipper teeth can actually be sewn right over, which is nice. So I can show you how to do that too in just a second. You wanna start out with uh, the zipper and then you take the fabric with the right side. This is the wrong side because it doesn't have the bright colors. So you wanna make sure the right sides are facing one another, okay? So they're facing one another and you wanna pin this in place, otherwise it'll be going all over the place and it won't look right. So we're gonna pin this in place. You can see that the edges of both fabric and zipper are lined up, okay? So the next thing we want is the correct presser foot. So if we tried to sew with the regular one, it just won't work because we'll keep running into the zipper, the needles, off of the zipper tape. This is called zipper tape, by the way. Um, and you could put it really closely but it, to the zipper itself, but it's just not the same. So we'll change out our presser foot. This is a standard zipper foot right here. So you can see it's got a spot, the little notches there for the needle to go in. So you can put it on either side. They have a little lever here for the, um, the presser foot grabber thing. I know it's really impressive. I'm using all this technical language, but so you could go on either side, just depending on which side you want to sew. I usually sew on the left because I'm set in my ways. So I have my zipper foot on the left side. I'm gonna get the thread out of the way here. There we go. So when you put it down, you can see how the edge of the presser foot of the zipper foot is lined right up with the actual zipper teeth. You see that? And you see how the needle's right next to it. If I put this down, it's right next to the zipper itself. So that could be good if you're doing like an invisible zipper that you don't wanna see very much. For this one, I kinda want a little bit of the zipper tape to be showing because it's pretty and it matches the colors in the fabric. So I'm just gonna move my needle over a little bit. So it's still there and there's, see there's plenty of space in the little notch in the zipper foot to go all the way to the right if I really want to, see? So it just allows space and um, room to be as close as you want. I hope that makes sense. I apologize if it does not. So, as with anything, you wanna do some back stitching as well. So, so front and then go back a little bit just so it's secure. You wanna be careful with pins because if they're sticking right out like that, you could break a needle and really irritate yourself. And plus the fabric could bunch up a little bit. So you just kinda of take them out as you go if you want. And you can see that you're not sewing on the zipper but just to the right of it. And then do some back stitching, keep it in place. And then we're good with that side. So the next side, we do the exact same thing. Gonna have the right sides of the fabric facing each other, but going to line these up, do the exact same thing like you just did. You wanna be careful. See, I'm putting it on, but you see how this side of the fabric is off from that one. So we're just gonna move that over so they're just right, just even. Make sure this doesn't go off. Make sure the edges are perfectly lined up or good enough lined up because Perfect is unattainable most of the time <laughs> as a human being. Cool, so do the exact same thing. And just so, da, da, da. Cool, so we've now successfully sewn a zipper into a future coin purse.
Cool, so if you see how this kind of like flutters up, you don't want that because when you go to sew this into place, it'll be all bunchy and uneven and that's just annoying. So nobody wants a bunchy and uneven coin purse unless you're laid back like that. So you always wanna press them, press the seams or in layman terms, layman's terms, iron. <laughs> So with polyester, like I said, it's pretty indestructible. So you can do a high heat iron, especially have a, if you have a difficult fabric. This is cotton, so it's really easy just to press down. It does pretty much whatever I tell it to, which is nice. So we got that pressed, and then we're going to top stitch these just so it looks nice. We're gonna just stitch them in place so that they don't get stuck in the zipper. If you were to open, open the zipper up and this was out or something, then it could get caught. So we're gonna stitch these in place to prevent that from happening. So this way you can see better how the, zip, the zipper foot actually stays right up against the zipper teeth there. You see that? How it doesn't go, how it's just up against it. So I'm gonna move my needle because if I were gonna to put it down there, I wouldn't see much of a top stitch. So I'm just gonna move it over just barely. And for top stitching, it's no big deal to back stitch because this is more for cosmetics, just so it looks nice. And of course, so it holds it into place. Just do a little stitching here. And we'll do the other side real quick. Always make sure your top thread, you've got a little bit of leeway, otherwise it'll suck it down and become unthreaded somehow. So same thing. So there we go. Hard parts over, zippers installed, and you're good to go. We can finish this up. So what you wanna do when you finish these, first of all, you're gonna sew the wrong sides together, but it's kind of difficult. You don't want the zipper to be a part like this. So what we'll want to do is pin it. Just so it stays put. And then we're gonna just sew a little line. Just hold it together. I'm gonna change up my presser foot because the regular presser foot will hold the fabric in place a little bit better. So I'm gonna hold this together. And like I said earlier about, good thing about these polyester zippers is that you can just sew right over them and it's fine. So back stitch a little bit just to keep the edges together. Ta-da. So that's done. I'll keep the zipper open because if it's closed and I sew it all the way around and it's closed, then I won't be able to turn it inside out and that would be sad. So that would just take a lot more time. So I'll pin these guys into place. Cool, so let's sew a circle and finish this bad boy up. So you see that's the wrong side, the other side with the zipper, it's already open. So if you remember my sewing a straight line video, I'm gonna line up the edge of the fabric with the edge of the presser foot. I'm gonna move my needle back to the center a little bit. I'm sorry, not to the center, to the right. I was just kidding about the center. So and this is where back stitching is important, especially over a zipper. That's one you don't want to mess around with. So just like driving, steering a wheel, you just kind of guide it. Just kind of go in a little circle. Drive slowly. So there we go. So this is very, very basic, all right? Usually I am doing a lining and we're surging the ends, but I'm not gonna do that today because I don't want to. So all you do is snip the edges of the zipper right off. Piece of cake. Turn it right side out. Just kind of push the edges around. See how it kind of bunches up on the outside? That can be fixed. So there's a lot of fabric in the way and it just kind of curls up. So the way to prevent that, this is just a bonus, a bonus tip. Just cut some little diagonals 
in it and I'll just give it some more room to move. Piece of cake, everybody can cut. Just be careful that you don't cut over the seam that you've done because then you'll have to do more work and then you'll get annoyed with yourself and no one wants that. All done.